title, Churchill Downs, track is safe. But, horse deaths. TL, DR, Churchill Downs is back on the race calendar, unaltered despite a spate of horse deaths. CEO labels the incidents as unfortunate circumstances, but assures no significant findings in safety reviews. Some are left wondering, is it really all just business as usual? Despite the distressing toll of 12 horse deaths, which includes a disheartening seven right before the renowned Kentucky Derby in May, Churchill Downs is giving the green light to its full racing meet come September. After a pause button was hit on racing operations on June 7, Churchill Downs handed over its spring meets reins to Ellis Park, nestled in the heart of western Kentucky. Why the pause? The Horse Racing Integrity and Safety Authority, the big watchdog of the sport, sounded the alarms. But wait, did the horses just stop trotting completely? Nope. While the races were on hold, horses continued to get their workout sessions at Churchill Downs. Here's where it gets a little twisty. Churchill Downs Incorporated's big boss, CEO Bill Castangen, brushes off these deaths as a series of unfortunate circumstances. Ha! Huh. Adding that upon deep inspection, they found the track to be as it always was, with no significant changes from previous years. Talk about a plot twist, right? Two of these deaths happened right on Derby Day in the undercard races, and five took their last gallop after. The track is very safe, was Carstangen's comment, during an earnings call with CDI investors. He emphasized that they have thoroughly reviewed every aspect of their racetrack. After delving deep, checking, and double-checking, no significant culprits behind the injuries surfaced. Churchill Downs Grand Fall Meet kicks off on September 14th, going full throttle until October 1st. Side note for the skeptics, isn't it a tad unsettling that nothing was found amiss despite 12 horse deaths in such a short time frame? While CEO Carstangen and his team are all set to race ahead without changes, it does make one wonder, are the racetracks really as safe as they say? Or is there more under the surface that we're not seeing? Disclaimer, this article does not offer recommendations or advice. It's purely for information and a smidge of entertainment. Always make your decisions based on thorough research, especially when it comes to safety and well-being. So, readers, what's your take? Is this just an unfortunate streak, or do we need more transparency in the horse racing industry?